episode of Probably Nothing, there are Yota and Shimmer news of the last days, I'm Alexander, here we go. Swap Zone, a modern exchange for coins with the cheapest fees, now Elsa offers a swap for Iota. The only downer is that I personally have never heard of many exchanges. Anyone with more experience is welcome to post it in the comments. The Pied Network has finally published the price feed for IOTA USD. Now the current IOTA price is updated by over 20 exchanges. Bifrest released a new update to its Telegram wallet. You can now start your wallet with a small analysis, react to payments and also deep links, which they call magic links, are now also added. Build5 gets new blood. In a blog post they welcome three new members. Mike Isaiah, technology strategist and solution architect at Cisco, Jan Nikolas Möklebost, senior solution architect at Red Hat and Daniel Aubert, senior manager at IBM. These innovative members will continue to drive Build5 forward. Congratulations to Blackpin, who are among the five winners of the 2023 Future Prize. Swiss One Capital released a great news on the 27th of June that raised a lot of dust. Swiss One launches the Swiss One IOTA Shimmer Opportunities Fund, CISO. This fund is specifically designed for projects based on Shimmer and IOTA to support the growth on these ecosystems. CISO will invest in leading projects and key inf infrastructure related to Shimmer and IOTA and will provide institutional and qualified investors with access to assets and investments in these networks. The fund will be registered as a closed and limited partnership in Luxembourg and requires a minimum investment of 10,000 euros. Numerous media have reported on it, among others Yahoo Finance. Nakama Labs has published an article praising Shimmer, the upcoming EVM launch, smart contracts and the network. The team behind Nakama Labs would like to write more such articles. The IOTA Foundation, in collaboration with FTI Consulting and various IOTA community projects, has organized a series of events to encourage open dialogue between policymakers and blockchain industry players. The report, Bridging the Gap Between Technology and Regulation with Dialogue, summarizes these events and provides considerations and recommendations for both the industry and policymakers. The nearly 50-page document covers topics such as improving trust, accountability and usability of self-hosted wallets, tokenization of the real economy and the impact of regulation and uncertainty on small and medium-sized enterprises and startups. Arcana Network surprisingly agrees with Dom that IOTA is ideal for tokenization. IOTA is secure, scalable and fearless. What and why this statement was made, I cannot say. The Shimmer Blog is starting a three-part series on DeFi. The first part is about the basics. The whole thing again with the help of Bankless Consulting and the ICC. Those who know the ICC newsletter will recognize the article. Benjamin Bönig already showed some impressions in the last episode and this time there are more insights. Farm United was at the block chance in Hamburg. We have been waiting a long time for the big reset, now it is finally arrived. The Shimmer network has been reset and the new version has been installed. The biggest changes are the proning and the archiving of nodes. Proning removes certain data blocks and transactions from the blockchain that are no longer needed to build consents or verify the current status. Sironclad, which I covered in the last episode, wrote on Twitter that their technology is mentioned in the new paper. DRAIN is an architecture for IoT networks that enables communication, management, monitoring and updating of IoT devices. The architecture is suitable for most IoT applications that do not require real-time processing of external data. Everything is based on IOTA. IOTA launched the IOTA Shimmer Content Creator Incentivation Program, a program for anyone who produces content for IOTA and Shimmer. For this, 10% of the marketing budget will be taken from the Tangle Community Fund and tested for 6 months at first. More information is available on Discord from the IOTA Foundation under Opportunities Board. Finance Goblin has also made a short video. The IOTA Foundation will publish the progress report for the second quarter at the beginning of July. Those who watch probably nothing will not find anything new, for all others who missed a lot 
and don't watch my videos regularly or want to review the second quarter, there is the blog article. Here are the current assembly figures. 456 million assembly were distributed, there are 39 days left in the current round 6 of 8. Wanderer has discovered a new patent, filled by Long Crane, Taylor William Paul. A system for collecting road tolls using a digital currency is presented based on distributed ledger technology that enables the processing of user data, the generation of transactions and the transfer of digital currency. IOTA Heroes reveals the big secret in the last news. There is a new altar where you can find new skills. In addition, the forge has been revamped. The Tangle Community Treasury has also released the Q2 report with all the expenses and projects supported. Nakama Labs did an AMA in the Chinese Telegram group IOTA Moon. There is a summary of all the questions and answers in the separate blog post. Make use of Publish the 7 most environmentally friendly cryptocurrencies and IOTA lands in second place. Hedera in first place. Just before the end, some news. Beefrest announces a partnership with Follow Plus, a D app for communities that is yet to be released. The whole thing will be based on Infinite X. A few hours ago, there was an article from Build5 and the introduced Build5 platform, which introduces the Build5 console, the Build5 marketplace, and the IDOS framework, all based on IOTA and Shimmer. We will learn more about the new product in the coming days. Garrett Jin also gives an update. They plan to work all summer on their project for social protocol running on Web3. Now for the updates. A lot has happened in the parameter task force in the last two weeks. Also WASP has been updated. A lot since the big update with the reset. It is now at version 070 alpha 6. That's it for probably nothing episode. See you next time. Bye bye.